PI and I, safety is our top priority, and the first key to safety is properly securing and protecting your cargo. Here we'll be breaking down the process of properly placing and securing what is known in the industry as a shock unloaded coil, also known as an eye lengthwise coil. The first step is proper placement of the cargo. With a single coil, the cargo is to be placed approximately one foot in front of the center light located underneath the rub rail. Furthermore, the cargo is to always be placed in the middle of the trailer. This is to ensure that the weight is evenly distributed across the trailer, which reduces the possibility of a rollover occurring while driving. The first step is to place the coil racks horizontally on the trailer, perpendicular to the trailer's rub rails. Then place your lumber into the coil racks, followed by your rubber belting. Now that we've reviewed the fundamentals of proper placement, let's move on to actually securing the load. First, you must place your J-hooks into the J-hook channel. You'll need to place two J-hooks in the inner J-hook channel and two J-hooks in the outer J-hook channel. You'll do this on both sides of the coil. This placement will vary from trailer to trailer. Just be sure to place the J-hooks to accommodate an inner and outer set of chains. Next, you'll connect a chain to each of the inner J-hooks. You'll take the hook of the chain through the eye of the J-hook, connecting the hook to the lowest available link. Then you'll throw the chains through the eye of the coil. Since this is a shock unloaded coil, you'll need to cross your inner chains. This is required by the FMCSA, meaning that every shock unloaded coil that does not have an X through its eye is secured illegally. Once the inner chains are set, it's time to move on to the outer chains. You'll connect a chain to each of the outer J-hooks. These chains are to be thrown on each side of the X. The outer left chain will sit to the left of the X, while the outer right chain will sit to the right. It's at this point you'll want to set your edge protection under each chain before moving to the other side of the coil. The fewer times you have to move from one side to the other, the more efficient and safer you'll be. Now you'll place your remaining four J-hooks in the same manner you placed the original four, two in the inner J-hook channel and two in the outer J-hook channel. Once you have your J-hook set, you'll connect a binder to each of them, linking each binder to a respective chain. It is at this point you should place your remaining edge protection. Now that your binders have been linked to your chains and your edge protection has been set, You'll use the two inner binders to secure the X. It's important to remember here that the bottom chain in the X is always to be tightened first. If the top chain were to be tightened first, it would restrict the mobility of the chain and therefore compromise its ability to apply downward pressure on the cargo. Once the X has been properly secured, you'll move to the outer two binders. These should be tightened to a twang tight. The final step to securing a shotgun coil includes another aspect required by the FMCSA, namely that all shotgun eye lengthwise loaded material must have some form of securement over the top. 